in this video i will talk about the operation of dtl nor gate if i have two inputs nor gate here v1 and v2 this is our output for logic 0 0 our output will be at logic 1 for logic 0 1 our output will be at logic 0 for 1 0 our output will be at logic 0 for 1 1 our output will be at logic 0 that means if I have at least one of the inputs is at logic 1 our output will be at logic 0 to specify logic 1 in DTL NOR gate I will apply 5 volt to specify logic 0 I will apply 0 volt that means that terminal will be directly grounded And this is the circuit structure of DTL NOR gate here you will see we will apply inputs at this terminal of the diode D1 and input V or V2 at this terminal of the diode D2 and we will take the output across this terminal see this collector terminal and this collector terminals are connected to this terminal so from this terminal to this terminal I will get the output voltage now I will discuss the operation of DTL NAND gate circuit see I have set the circuit in a simulator before going to the circuit operation let me discuss the on state of the transistor Q1 and the on state of the transistor Q2 let's say this is our B point and this is our a point if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 I have to apply a base to emitter voltage greater than 0.7 volt let's say 0.8 volt if I want to turn on the transistor Q2 I have to apply a base to emitter voltage greater than 0.7 volt which should be let's say 0.8 volt now if I want to turn on the transistor Q2 I have to apply a voltage VB let's say VB is the voltage between this B terminal to ground terminal VB will be the sum of the diode built-in potential VD4 plus base to emitter junction voltage of the transistor Q2 because if I want to turn on the transistor Q2 the diode D4 must be in forward bias therefore when this diode will be in forward bias I will get a voltage drop across the diode which will be equal to its built-in potential and if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 the diode D3 must be in forward bias therefore voltage VA VA will be the voltage between this terminal to this ground terminal which will be the sum of built-in potential of the diode D3 plus base to emitter voltage of the transistor Q1 usually the built in potential of a silicon diode is approximately 0.7 volt and to turn on the transistor Q1 let's say I will apply 0.8 volt so 0.7 plus 0.8 that means if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 or Q2 I have to apply a voltage at least 1.5 volt at this terminal to this ground terminal at this terminal to this ground terminal otherwise the transistor Q1 or Q2 will be in off state if I get a voltage between this terminal to this terminal equal or greater than 1.5 volt our transistor will be in on state the voltage at this terminal to ground or this terminal to ground should be approximately 1.5 volt now consider the first case of input voltage V1 will be at logic 0 and V2 will be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal and this terminal will be connected to ground terminal therefore you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the P side of the diode D1 and the P side of the diode D2 as the negative terminal of the source is connected with the ground terminal the ne negative terminal will be connected with the inside of the diode D2 and the inside of the diode D1 that means both the diodes D1 and D2 will be in forward bias so I can replace them with a source of 0.7 volt or a short circuit in that case the voltage difference be between this terminal to this terminal will be equal to 0 volt 
Here, for convenience, I will replace this diode D1 and this diode D2 with a short circuit. If I replace the diode D1 and D2 with short circuits, you will see the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be equal to 0 volt. Or if I replace them with a voltage source, I will get a voltage difference of 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal. Similar case is applicable for VB. VB will be equal to either 0 volt if, if I replace it with short circuit or if I replace it with 0 0.7 volt source I will get 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal. Therefore you will see both the transistors Q1 and Q2 will be in off state because if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 or Q2 I need a voltage at least 1.5 volt between this terminal to ground terminal or between this terminal to ground terminal as the transistor Q1 and Q2 will be in off state their collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch that means I can disconnect the collector and emitter terminals from the logic network if I disconnect the collector terminals you will see the collector current at this direction will be zero and the collector terminal through the collector terminal of the transistor Q2 will be zero therefore the IC R2 drop through this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to zero that means the 5 volt that is applied between this terminal to this ground terminal will be appeared across this output to ground terminal in that case our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt which represents logic 1 in the output now let me run the simulation to verify my circuit analysis you will see the diode d1 and the diode d2 will be conducting and the diode d3 and transistor q1 will be in off state or or they will not conduct any current and the diode d4 and the transistor q2 will not conduct any current because they will be in off state and in the voltmeter i will get a voltage of 5 volt now look at the circuit simulation see the diode d1 and the diode d2 are conducting therefore i will get a voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to ground terminal 715 millivolt that means 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal that voltage will be in parallel between this terminal to this ground terminal or this terminal to ground terminal so the diode d3 and the transistor q2 will be in off state so i will not get any current through this path and the diode d4 and the transistor q2 will be in off state so i will not get any current through this path now you will see transistor Q1 and Q2 are in off state their collector and emitter terminals act like open switch therefore I will not get any current through the collector terminal except a very low leakage current 9.32 nano ampere and look at the reading of the voltmeter it is 5 volt so for logic 0 0 I am obtaining logic 1 now let me talk about the second case when input will be at 0 1 our output should be equal to 0 this terminal will be connected to ground terminal as v1 is at logic 0 this v2 will be at logic 1 so it will be connected with the 5 volt source you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the inside of the diode and the negative terminal will be connected with the P side so diode D2 will be in reverse bias as the diode D2 will be in reverse bias I can replace it with an open circuit you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the positive terminal of the diode D1 and the negative terminal is connected to ground so this ground terminal will be connected with the inside so diode D1 will be in forward bias therefore I can replace it with a short circuit or a source of 0 0.7 volt for convenience I will replace it with a short circuit and it with an open circuit see as this terminal is directly short circuit therefore I will get a voltage VA equal to 0 volt or if I replace it with a 0 0.7 volt I should get a voltage of 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal as I have 0 volt between this terminal to ground terminal so our transistor Q1 will be in off state so when this transistor Q1 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like an open switch 
therefore I can disconnect the collector and in the terminal of transistor Q1 therefore I can say the collector current of this transistor will be equal to zero now as the transistor Q1 is in off state the diode D3 will not be in conducting mode now consider the transistor Q2 you will see this 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this terminal so I can expect a voltage drop VB around 1.5 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal so our transistor Q2 will be in on state when the transistor Q2 will be in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like closed switch so I can short the collector and emitter terminals as the transistor Q2 is in conducting mode our transistor our diode D4 will conduct current through it see we will have a total short circuit through this path therefore our output voltage VO should be equal to 0 volt which indicates for 0 1 our output will be at logic 0 now let me run the simulation to verify my circuit analysis see the diode D1 is forward bias to therefore the transistor Q1 and the diode D3 will not conduct any current see the diode D2 is in off state or it is not conducting because it is in reverse bias the diode D4 and the transistor Q2 are conducting therefore its collector and emitter terminals will act like a short circuit therefore I will get a voltage drop nearly equal to 0 which is equal to 48.8 millivolts see the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is approximately 715 millivolts that means 0.7 volt and the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is approximately 1.5 volt that means it is 1.47 volt so this diode and this transistor will be in on state now let me talk about this case when our input will be at 1 0 our output should be at logic 0 input will be at 1 0 that means this terminal will be connected with 5 volt source and this terminal will be connected with ground terminal you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt will be connected with the P side and the negative terminal as it is connected to ground so it will be connected with the N side so diode D2 will be in forward bias so I can replace it with a short circuit or a voltage source of 0 0.7 volt you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt is connected with the N side and the negative terminal will be connected with the P side so the diode D1 will be in reverse bias so I can replace the diode D1 with an open circuit so if I replace the diode D2 with a short circuit I will get a voltage drop VB equal to 0 volt or if I replace it with a 0 0.7 volt source I will get a voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt source between this terminal to ground terminal to turn on the transistor Q2 I need a voltage at least 1.5 volt here the voltage is 0 0.7 volt therefore our transistor Q2 will be in off state so as the transistor Q2 will be in off state I can disconnect its collector and emitter terminals because when a transistor is in off state its collector and emitter terminals act like an open switch now consider the case of the transistor Q1 you will see the 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this ground terminal so I can expect that a voltage drop approximately 1.5 volt will occur between this terminal to this terminal that means our VA will be approximately 1.5 volt so transistor Q1 will be in on state when the transistor Q1 will be in on state I can short the collector and emitter terminals of the transistor Q1 because when a transistor is in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like a closed switch therefore you will see we will have total short circuit between this terminal to this terminal so our output voltage VO will be equal to 0 volt that means our output will be at logic 0 I will run the simulation to verify my circuit analysis here you will see the diode D2 will be in forward bias therefore I will get a voltage drop of 715 millivolt between this terminal to this ground terminal that means I will get a voltage drop of 0 0.7 volt between this terminal to this terminal so the diode D4 and the transistor Q2 will be in off state see there is no current conduction through this path this 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this terminal so I will get a voltage drop of 1.47 volt 
between this terminal to this terminal so our transistor q1 and the diode d3 will be in on state as the transistor q1 is in on state that means its collector and emitter terminal will act like a short path so i will get a small amount of voltage between this terminal to this terminal which is 48.8 millivolt that means our output is at logic zero the diode d1 will be in reverse bias because the positive terminal of this 5 volt will be connected with the n side and the negative terminal will be connected with the p side therefore there will be no current conduction through this path now consider the last case when both the inputs will be at logic 1 1 our output should be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to 5 volt source and this terminal will be connected to 5 volt source you will see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the n side and the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the n side of the diode d1 and the negative side will be connected with the p side and the negative terminal of this 5 volt will be connected with the p side so the diode d1 will be in reverse bias and the diode d2 will also be in reverse bias so when a diode is in reverse bias i can replace them with an open circuit because they will not conduct any current that means i can remove this entire portion of the circuit and the entire portion of the circuit from the original logic circuit after removing diodes d1 and d2 you will see this 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this ground terminal between this terminal to this ground terminal so i can expect a voltage drop vb approximately 1.5 volt between this b terminal to this ground terminal and va approximately 1.5 volt between this a terminal to ground terminal so our transistors q1 and q2 both of them will be in on state when both of them will be in on state that means i can replace them that means their collector and emitter terminals will act like a short circuit so i can short the collector and emitter terminals therefore you will see we, we will have total short circuit between this point to this point through this path or this path therefore our output voltage should be equal to zero volt therefore our output will be at logic zero see in this circuit the diode d1 is not conducting and the diode d2 is not conducting and i am getting a voltage drop of 1.45 which is approximately 1.5 volt between this terminal to ground terminal so the transistor q1 will be in on state and the diode d4 will be in on state that means this collector and emitter terminal will act like a short path therefore i will get a voltage drop of 36.6 millivolt therefore our output will be at logic zero now consider this side the diode d3 and the transistor q1 are conducting because here i am getting a voltage drop of 1.45 volt that means between this terminal to this terminal we have a voltage drop of 1.45 volt therefore this transistor will be in on state therefore i will get base current in the transistor q1 see the as the transistor q1 will be in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like a closed switch so i can short the collector and emitter terminals so our output voltage will be approximately zero which is here 36.6 millivolt which indicates logic zero in the output that's it thank you